Hello class, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will show you how to find the slope of the tangent line at the given point using derivatives. So, ang formula ng derivatives na gagamitin natin is f prime of x is equal to the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h as h approaches 0. Okay, so let's have example number 1. So given the function 2x minus x squared, find the slope of the tangent line at the point negative 1, negative 3. So first step natin dito guys is kukunin kagad natin yung derivative ng ating function. So by using the formula f prime of x, is equal to the limit of f of x plus h. So, meaning yung variable x natin dito is parehas magiging x plus h. Okay, so we have 2 times x which is x plus h minus x which is x plus h again. Then square minus f of x. So, ang, ang f of x natin dito is yung 2x minus x square. Then, all over h. As h approaches 0. Okay? So, dito guys, hindi ka agad natin pwedeng i-evaluate si limit na yung h approaches 0. Since ang denominator natin is h, so, kung magiging 0 yung ating denominator is magiging undefined yung ating limits. Okay, so bago natin i-substitute yung ating h approach is 0, simplify muna natin yung ating function. Okay, so we have the limit of, so distribute natin to, this is 2x plus 2h. Minus the square of binomial. So, since may negative dito, yung pag in-square natin yung binomial is ire reverse natin yung sign. So, square natin si x. So, that is x square times negative. We have negative x square. Then, multiply natin si x plus h. That is hx. Then, twice, we have 2hx times negative. That is negative 2hx. Okay? Then, square natin yung last term. We have h square times negative. We have negative h square. Then, distribute natin yung negative dito. So, that is negative 2x plus x square all over h as h approaches 0. Okay? Okay? So, simplify natin yung ating function. So, we have 2x minus 2x. So, makakancel yan. Then, we have negative x square. Then, positive x square. Cancel ulit. So, ang matitira na lang, we have the limit of 2h minus 2hx minus h square all over h as h approaches 0. So, sa numerator natin, guys, as you can see, mayroon silang common term or common monomial. So, kung na-observe nyo, yung h natin sa numerator is yung common monomial dyan. So, kung itatry natin i-factor yung ating h sa numerator, that is h times 2 minus 2x minus h. Nakuha? Then, all over h as h approaches 0. So, dito guys, makakancel na natin yung h that give us a new limit which is uh, 2 minus 2x minus h as h approaches 0. So, in this case guys, pwede na natin i-evaluate si limit. Okay? So, Applying the limits, we have 2 minus 2x minus 0. So, ang ating f prime of, of x o yung ating derivative ng f of x is magiging 2 minus 
2x. Okay, so ito na ngayon yung ating derivative ng ating function. Okay, but since ang pinapahanap dito guys is yung slope ng tangent line, so gagamitin natin yung ating given point which is negative 1, negative 3. Okay, so gagamitin natin yung x-ordinate dyan which is negative 1. So isa-substitute natin yan dito sa ating uh, f prime of x para makuha yung slope ng ating tangent line. So, that is m equals 2 minus 2 times negative 1. So, that is 2 times uh, negative 2 times negative 1. We have positive 2. So, ang slope natin is equal to 4. Nakuha guys. So, at x equals, uh, uh, at point negative 1, negative 3, the slope of the tangent line is positive 4. Nakuha ba guys? So, let's have another example. Number 2. So, find the slope of the tangent line to the curve f of x equals 2 over x plus 3 at x equals 2. So again, ang first step natin is kailangan makuha natin yung derivative ng ating function with the formula of limit of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h as h approaches 0. Okay, so substitute natin yung ating function. We have the limit of f of x plus h. So, yung x natin dito is magiging uh, x plus h. So, that is 2 over x plus h plus 3 minus f of x which is 2 over x plus 3. Then, all over h as h approaches 0. So, simplify muna natin ulit yung ating function bago natin masubstitute yung ating 0. Since 0 yung denominator, so magkakaroon tayo ng undefined. Okay, so simplify natin yan. So, para masimplify natin yung ating function, i-combine natin yung ating dalawang fraction sa numerator. Okay, so dito, ang LCD natin dyan is magiging x plus h plus 3 times x plus 3. Okay? So, divide natin yan dito. Yung LCD divided by sa x plus h plus 3, ang matitira is x plus 3, then times 2, that is 2 times x plus 3. Okay? Then, minus. So, LCD divide natin by x plus 3. Makakancel yung x plus 3. Then, ang matitira is yung x plus h plus 3 na i-multiply natin kay 2. Okay, guys? Then, all over h. So, yung denominator natin h, pwede na natin uh, i-multiply dito sa ating fraction. Then, get natin yung reciprocal. That is 1 over h. Same lang naman yan, guys. No? So, as h approaches 0. So, next is simplify natin ulit yung function. So, that is distribute. So, we have 2x plus 6. Then, distribute natin si negative 2. That is negative 2x minus 2h minus 6. All over, we have x plus h plus 3 times x plus 3 times 1 over h. So, sa numerator natin, guys, makakancel yung 2x and 2x. Then, yung 6. Then, we have another negative 6. Okay? So, simplify natin to. So, the limit of negative 2h all over x plus h plus 3 then x plus 3 
Then, multiply na natin yung h. So, may h tayo dito. As h approaches 0. So, dito guys, kung makapansin nyo, pwede na makancel yung h natin sa denominator. Okay? So, kung nakancel na yung h dun sa ating denominator, pwede na nating ma-evaluate ngayon yung ating limit as h approaches 0. So, we have negative 2 over x plus h which is 0 plus 3 times x plus 3. Okay? So, therefore, ang ating uh, f prime of x is equal to negative 2 all over x plus 3 times x plus 3 that is x plus 3 square. So, ito na ngayon yung ating magiging uh, derivative ng ating function. Okay, so since pinapakuha guys yung slope ng tangent line at x equals 2. So, para makuha natin yung slope, isa-substitute lang natin si 2 guys doon sa ating uh, x variable. Okay, so negative 2 over we have 2 plus 3 square. So, simplify lang natin yan. We have negative 2 over 2 plus 3. We have 5. Then, square. That is 25. So, therefore, at x equals 2, the slope of the tangent is equal to negative 2 over 25. Nakuha ba guys? So, this is the end of our video. I hope may natutunan kayo. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!